The Productivity Hacks Channel with Klaus Geisendorfer. Today, I'm going to reveal to you 12 life-saving Gmail tips so that you spend less time in your inbox. Why is it so important to be efficient with your emails? The University of Glasgow found out that 80% of emails are a waste. They're either not relevant, they're useless, funny like cat videos, or they require a face-to-face -face conversation or a phone call. According to a McKinsey study, knowledge workers spend an average of 2.6 hours per day reading and answering emails. If you assume 8 working hours, that's one-third of your day spent on emails. Wouldn't you like to cut down on some of that time? This is how a typical Gmail inbox looks like. Everything is just bunched together in one folder. And that's bad. What you need to realize is that not all emails are created equal. This is very important. If you only take one thing away from this video, it should be the fact that not all emails are created equal and that different emails need to be treated differently. There are three types of emails. Number one, those emails that are sent directly to you. For example, for your boss. They need your immediate attention. They should be on the top of your inbox. Then there are those emails where you need to be kept informed of. Also important emails, but you usually don't need to take any immediate actions. Those emails should be easily accessible, but don't need to be on top of your inbox. And then there's the third category, nice to read. Those are emails that you can read when you have the time to do so, maybe in between meetings. Examples of those emails are um, newsletters, announcements, promotion, marketing emails, and shipping notifications. In this case, email almost acts like a storage or an archive. You know where the emails are. Whenever you need them, you can go back and read them, but you don't need to read them constantly and they don't need to disturb you during the day when you work. This last category should not be in your inbox at all. Unfortunately, Gmail is doing an awful job reflecting those three categories. So I'm going to teach you in a few simple steps on how to set it up. Tip number one, set up your Gmail inbox by priority. There are two ways to achieve that. You can use the priority inbox or tabs or categories as some people call them. I personally prefer the priority inbox as it works much better with the three categories that I just outlined. However, if you're already using tabs and you're happy with them, then please continue to do so. Priority inbox, the priority inbox takes a little bit more time to set up, but it works much better in the long run. Let me briefly show you how to use the um, tabs. For tabs, just click on um, configure inbox. I'm going to go through it real quick because I want to focus on the priority inbox. You enable those three settings and then you have emails be categorized. And if you want a specific email to be in a specific folder, you can just drag and drop it here to updates, click on yes, and those messages will always be in there. I don't like the tabs as much because you don't have that second category kept informed of, and it's a really important category. Let me show you how to set up the priority inbox. You click on um, settings, inbox, and you select priority inbox. You don't really need all these options here, so we keep the first one, which should be important. We'll remove all the other sections, two, three, so I'll just click on down here, remove section, and then number five, what you see here, will be your second category, kept in the loop of, kept informed of. Okay, just make sure those two options here are selected, and this one as well. Just hit Save Changes when you're done, and you can see how Google now has two types of inboxes for you. Your important emails that are directly sent to you, and the second category. We'll get to the third category in just a second. If you want a specific email to be part of the first cat from the first category to go to the second category, you just click that arrow here, refresh it again, and Gmail will automatically put this email in the second category down here. Okay. In order to handle the third category, nice to read, you need to set up filters. Before we get to that, let's make first sure we unsubscribe from all emails. Tip number two, unsubscribe from all those emails that you don't need. There's no point setting up filters or doing anything for those emails that you never read. Also, social media updates, when you receive them on your phone, 
unsubscribe from all social media emails if you're already getting a Facebook notification on your phone. There's really no point getting the same notification twice. After you cleaned up and unsubscribed from all those emails that you never read, let's get to the third category. Remember, those are bills, for example, shipping notifications, promotions, social media updates, announcement, marketing emails. For example, if I get an email from Amazon, subscribe and save, that my new trash bags are delivered. I really don't care when they arrive and it doesn't need to be in my inbox. I set up a simple Gmail filter and whenever I need to know when my trash bags arrive, I'll just look at it, look for them. This brings me to tip number three. Set up filters to automatically categorize those emails that belong to the bucket nice to read. All right, let's have a look at the second category here to see if there are any emails that really belong in the third category. For example, this here. This is a marketing email, but I sometimes read when I have the time to do so. Just click on more, filter messages like these, and you want to create a filter with this search. You want to skip the inbox. You can even mark it as red if you want to. But what's important, you apply a label. You either click new label or you choose an existing label. And now you select create filter. You can also check this box here so that all the existing conversations are filtered and your inbox is cleaned up. If you've done that, you can now go to the left side here, newsletters, and you can read all your newsletters whenever you have the time, for example, in between meetings. I have some additional tips for you that will make it easier for you to go through your emails. Ideally, you want to go through several emails at once and knock out a bunch of emails. The next couple of tips are going to help you to do that. Okay, let's go back to the settings. The, the helpful features are send an archive, tip number four, and order advance, tip number five. Here is order advance. So what we want to do, we want to either go to the next conversation or the previous conversation, whatever works better for you. And then we also want to enable show send an archive button. Okay, let me save those settings and show you what I mean by that. Now when you go through your emails, um, you say, okay, you can respond to your emails, click send an archive, done. You get to the next email. Okay, this is an email that I don't need to read, archive, done, bang. Those two features together allow you to really just bang through your emails and save a lot of time. You don't need to strive for inbox zero, but it's really important that you only read an email one time and then you either archive it, you respond to it, or you get back to it later. If you're using the uh, send an archive button, and but need to follow up with people, then Boomerang is a very useful tool. Let's say I'm sending here Luke an email, but I need to make sure that he responds to me. If I hit send an archive, the email is gone, and I probably will forget to get back to him and follow up with him. What you can do is select Boomerang here, in one week, if no one replies. That way, you don't have the email cluttering up your inbox, but it will automatically come back in a week if Luke doesn't respond. I have a couple of more tips for you and I'm going to go through them real quick. Tip number seven, use a plus sign to have infinite Gmail addresses. So here I can just add a plus to my email address plus newsletter and it will be treated as a unique email address. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say you want to download a report. You can just add plus newsletter or plus, plus report. You sign up for it. And then back in your inbox, you can create again a filter with this search. And then all emails that you receive, you can um, set up a filter for those emails, archive them, give them a specific label like read one time or download. So it's a nice feature the using plus sign. I have a couple of other handy tips for you. Number eight, use undo send. You go back to the settings and when you scroll all the way down here, you can enable undo send. This will call an email back in case you made a mistake or so. Other good features are reply all, especially if your company has the policy to um, CC a lot of people on email. Default reply to is definitely good behavior in that case. Um, another tip you can use is uh, canned responses. For example, you get a lot of emails, you work in sales, or you always need to um, send the same answer you can just click on um, here, reply to, and include a canned response, for example, when you receive a new lead. You can mute, there's a mute button, 
which means the thread will res will stay um, archived even if you get new emails for it. Let's say there are a lot of emails in this thread. You just click the mute button and it will not appear anymore even if more people respond to that one. Also a great way to keep your inbox clean. All right, tip number 12. Have all your emails in one inbox. There's nothing worth, worse than you having to jump from one inbox to another to check several inboxes. Rather, forward them all to one inbox. Let me show you how to do that. Settings. So you can forward here in Gmail directly to another address that you use. Or you can go to the cPanel of your hosting provider and forward it from there. And if you want to send emails as, you can use the send email as feature and set it up so that you can send emails through Gmail using other email addresses like here for my business cmsassist or amstad.com. I have one bonus tip for you. Stop playing the email game. Stop being a slave of your email. I recommend you only check your email twice a day. Yes, you heard me correctly. Only check your email once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Tim Ferriss from the 4-Hour Workweek was the one who pioneered this concept. What you should do is set up an out-of-office reminder or order email autoresponder that communicates clearly why you're not checking your emails because the reason is you want to increase your productivity, you want to increase your focus, and you want to get less interrupted. I'm sure you're not being paid to just read and answer emails. You have an actual job that you need to get done. What I can do is include this email template here that is proven to work. I've seen positive feedback from people who used it in companies and their managers and senior executives gave them praise. Let me quickly recap here. There are three different types of emails using Priority Inbox. Combined with filters, you can have Gmail automatically filter those emails for you in the correct folder. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned, I'll be releasing another productivity video soon. Thanks for watching. The Productivity Hacks Channel with Klaus Geisendorfer.